Welcome to Winnipeg. We're excited to show you what life here is like, and we're here to help you as you get settled in. Follow this checklist and you'll be on your way. 1. College and program orientation sessions help you learn about resources and support services offered to students. They're also a great way to meet fellow students and college staff. Many programs hold their own orientations before classes. To learn more, visit rrc.ca slash international, where orientations are listed by program and campus. 2. Your Red River College Hub account gives you 24-hour access to your academic history, registration status, account balances, and more. Activate your account with your student ID at either the International Education Office or a Student Service Center. 3. Program fees are due on the first day of each term. Payments can be made in person at a student service center or by credit card through your Hub account. 4. Your student photo ID card is required to use computer labs and gyms, to access campuses after hours, and to write exams or borrow materials from the library. Get yours at a student service center. Be sure to bring your passport. 5. Our campus stores stock all required course materials, including new and used books, ebooks, and supplies. Most are available for purchase before terms start. You can also make purchases at rrc.ca slash books. 6. Open a bank account as soon as you arrive, so you have a safe place for your money. Many banks offer accounts with privileges for students. You'll need to bring your ID and might need to make an appointment in advance. 7. Full-time students get a discount on monthly bus passes sold at our campus student stores. If you plan to drive while in Manitoba, you'll need to visit a driver and vehicle licensing service outlet. 8. Set yourself up with a cell phone. Research which service provider offers the best plan for your needs. If you're bringing a phone with you from home, contact your current provider first to make sure it will work in Canada. 9. You'll need a social insurance number to work in Canada. If you meet all the requirements, you can apply for one by providing your passport and study permit in person at a Service Canada Centre. Visit servicecanada.gc.ca to learn more or to download an application. 10. If your program has an internship or work experience component, you'll need a co-op work permit. If you don't receive one at your port of entry, you can apply through Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. For all other inquiries, please contact us at international at rrc.ca or 204-632-2143. We're happy to have you here and to provide every assistance in helping you succeed.